Education and City Council. Um, this week has been really, really informative in terms of visiting with legislators here in Madison, many of whom haven't had a chance to come up to our neck of the woods to, to look around. And as I've had the opportunity to visit with all of these legislators about this mining bill, it's become pretty clear that you know a lot of the people that are supporting it are doing so with good intentions. You know, they want to create jobs and they think that this is the good way to do it. But unfortunately, to us, the people that it's meant to help, it, it, the risks just far outweigh the benefits. Now, the bill was written for a specific project by a specific company, and I think that that's something that's pretty clear to most of us. Um, we're not happy with the loss of local control. The fact that um, it would essentially render our local county's or uh, zoning ordinances irrelevant. We're not happy with the exemptions from environmental regulations that keep our watershed clean. We drink that water, we depend on it, we need it. We don't like the precedent that's being set when an out-of-state limited liability corporation can come into our state and have free access to our vital natural resources without considering how that affects existing businesses, communities, and people. The idea of paying the bills for infrastructure until a massively expensive mining project turns a profit is daunting, to put it mildly. Could you imagine what it would be like if these things happened in your community? If this legislation passes or it is passed to please this company, then what, what happens when the next company comes along? With, with a vague promise of jobs, what happens when they, come, when they come and make demands like this? Where does this end? It's a dangerous precedent to set. And it may not seem like it, but wherever you live in the state of Wisconsin, this law does affect you. Even though it's being passed for something that could potentially happen in the Northwoods, this is the law of the land. So I want legislators that are going to vote on this uh, in coming weeks to consider this. When you pass this bill, it means that you're saying that you're okay with that loss of local control and with the ability for your constituents to weigh in on this process and to make decisions that affect their communities. It means that you're okay with risking the water that your communities depend on. It says that you're okay with causing that financial uncertainty and that distress in regard to infrastructure developments for small communities. And it means that you're willing to jeopardize that vital infrastructure with no assurances for local communities that will ever see the funding to deal with that. You're okay with all of this, not just for us all the way up north in the, in the far port part of the state, but when you pass this bill, you're okay with this for your constituents in your community as well. I would challenge legislators that vote in favor of this bill to justify that decision at the next town hall meeting or campaign stop in their district. In closing, I would like to call on some specific legislators to take a stand against the Republican leadership and vote against this legislation. Senators Luther Olson, Robert Coles, Sheila Harsdorf, Michael Ellis, and Jerry Petrowski have all shown independence when it has mattered most. They've fought to preserve local control and honor the will of their constituents. When their communities have objected to state legislation, they've stood up, they've shown leadership and integrity and courage, and they've fought for their district's best interests. It's not an easy thing to do. It takes guts and it takes a thick skin, but we're all tired of partisanship. And we all know that partisanship is not the best way to make good law. If you look at this bill objectively, and you'll know that this bill is a bad bill. And while our communities, the one that we all represent, we're the ones that are at risk today. But passing this bill makes it the law for all of us in this state. How long do you think before it will be your constituents, the people in the other parts of the state, your community that's at risk? Make no mistake, that time, that time will come. And when it does, each of these people that votes in favor of this bill is going to have to answer for the choices that they've made. Please, please, please stand together with us, with your communities, for the best interests of the people of the state of Wisconsin and vote against 81SB1. And I guess with that, uh, we're open for questions.